Okay, I am ready to start injecting epoxy into the holes and I've got some epoxy here and I've already mixed it up. Um, Mach 1 recommends that you also put in chopped fiberglass and that's what this is in here. And I use a mask whenever I do this because I don't want to breathe this. This is pure chopped fiberglass. So that's kind of what it looks like. And just dump it in there. Get that out of the way. And I'm going to mix that in there. This is probably way too much epoxy. All right, I'm going to get my syringe. And I'm just going to pour it in. I'm going to put my finger over the bottom so it doesn't come out the bottom. And I'll put the plunger in and I'll flip it over and wait for the air bubble to come to the top. It's coming out a little bit. And push that air bubble out. Okay. So now I got a syringe full of epoxy. And I'll do this hole here first. I'm probably going to do this one at the same time. Okay. And I can't see it. But I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom because I know I got this ring back here that's going to block it like a dam. And then I'm going to tilt it forward and let it come down this way. And I can't see it, unfortunately, so I don't know how good it's covering. Now I'm going to flip it over and see if I can get it to go to that rail button. Okay, so now I'm kind of seeing it. See the, you can just barely see it. So I know it's flowing. I'm going to try to flow it towards that rail button right there. All right, it's flowing good there. So I think even just a little bit covering that is going to be fine. All right, so now I'm just going to let it sag back down and then kind of run up this way. Like I said, I'd rather have it flow towards this than to flow back that way. And. And that's pretty much the process. Um, the unfortunate thing is you can't do more than one fin set at a time because if you flip it over, all that epoxy is just going to run right out of that hole. So we got to do this four times because we have four sets of fins. Um, now your syringe, if you want to reuse it, you need to clean it out. And I think I would recommend some some rubbing alcohol. So first we'll wipe it out as clean as we can. Pour in some rubbing alcohol. Okay, 
just like before, we gotta gotta get the air bubble out. All right, so trying to just to kind of show you that it is going through. So I just gotta shake it around. And I'll just push this in the old cup. And then pull the plunger out. Wipe that off. And just let it all dry. You know, we got to wait for that to harden anyway. So that's the process. Um, like I said, we're going to do this four times. Unfortunately, it takes a long time. That's kind of why this is not my favorite method of putting fillets on the fins, but it works. Um, so in the next time, uh, we should have all the fins done. Um, and I'll have to put some epoxy on this one as well. So my name is Tim Van Milligan. Thanks for watching this video. Uh, off to the side, if you're on YouTube, I think we have some others that I think you'll enjoy.